Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing another video for my How to Use Stickers series. I think this is video number eight, and in each video, I focus on a different type of sticker, and I show you a few different ways to use that sticker in your planner. I try to pick stickers that I know a lot of people struggle with and may not know how to use off the right, right off the bat just looking at them, and so this video will hopefully help to give you some ideas on how to use stickers that you may not be using, but you have in your sticker book. So be sure to check out my playlist. I have lots of different videos already. Like I said, this is video number eight in the series, and if there's a certain type of sticker that you really find yourself struggling with that I have not covered in the series yet, be sure to suggest that in the comments so that I can um, consider it when I make future videos in this series. So in this particular video, this video is going to be how to use paint splotch stickers. We see these in several Happy Planner books and I have gotten a lot of questions on how to use them. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to use paint splotch stickers in your planner. So paint splotch stickers are typically either clear or paper, depending on the page that you're looking at. We're going to start with this clear page and I'm going to show you just a few ways to use these stickers. I love using these stickers for layering. I think it's a super cute way to add color to your planner without taking up space that still needs to be functional and practical. So one thing that I love to do with these stickers is I like to take them and cut off part of the edge and then I like to lay it right against the line of the box. Now the reason I do that is because then it looks like the paint is just smeared on the boxes and not on the whole planner. Now you could keep this if you wanted to add this color in elsewhere. So like maybe I want to put it over here so that I have this color um, in two places on my planner. Okay, and so then it looks like it's bleeding on both sides. So then what you could do after you've done that is you can take a sticker book. So this is just one I just reached over and grabbed. Hopefully it has the kind of sticker that I need. I really was wanting a box sticker. So like here, maybe I want to use, put a quote. So this is a quote sticker and I could take it and I could kind of angle it but then it looks like the paint is coming out from behind that sticker, which is really cute. You could also use it to help bring some color to what is otherwise just a like a black sticker. So here I could lay this, and then I've got the color popping in from that paint splotch that I put over here. Now, if you're gonna do it where you're trying to add color to it, like a plain quote, um, it would also be cute to add like multiples of these to one box. So what I mean is like, let's see, let's cut this. So maybe in one box, we put this, okay? And then maybe another box. And this one, I'm actually gonna put these back together because since this bleeds into this box, I think it would actually be best if these stayed one sticker. So I'm just gonna lay that right next to it. Um, but then this one I could take and I could put it, I don't know, maybe down here. Okay, and so then it could be cute if you take a black sticker. I'm just gonna pull one from my neutral florals sticker book because I know I have clear black ones. Sometimes it can be hard to find a clear back black sticker but this book has a few. So this one says make today count. And then when you have like two color splotches and you're laying this down, you're just getting a little like more color behind it. Whereas here we only had the color in the top. So like adding two colors just, you know, makes it look cute. So then down here where we have this smaller splotch, um, let me pull out another book because this book does not have what I need. Let's see, maybe this one does. So like here, maybe I want to put a smaller box. You could take a box sticker, a colorful box sticker, and you could layer it on top, kind of like we did with the quote. So we did this with the quote over here. Um, but here with the box sticker, this is making it where this spot is still functional, 
but it also just has a little pop of color back there, which is really cute as well. Now, another thing you could do with these paint splotches is you could line either the edge of your page or you could really, if you wanted to, you could do this up the center. I show that in the floral. That would actually be really cute if you take these and line them up. But you could also take these and just put them like in the corners of your planner like this. Okay, and it, you see how it just looks like a paint splotch in the corner? And then you could take a coordinating one, okay? And like here we have the word January, but if we turn this the right way, we should still be able to see January through the purple. So if I lay it like this, and then trim off the edges, that's another way to use them if you use the clear ones because you can still see the word through it, which is cute as well. Now, there's also some of these paper splotches, or some of these paint splotches also come in paper. All the ones I've shown you so far are clear stickers. These paper ones, you can actually write on. So, what you could do, we could put this one down. It's got a white background, so keep that in mind. You could put that down, and then let's say we just are going to put a black box. So, I'm pulling a black sticker box. Okay. So then I could take this and maybe layer it on top, but since this is paper, I can write on it. Over here, when I did this, it's clear, so if you're going to write on it, you're going to need a Sharpie. But if you're using the paper one, then you could come in here and you could write directly on the purple. And so you're basically using this paint swatch sticker as like a header. See, I wrote important. I think that is really cute too. I think that looks really cute. Um, you could also, like here I showed, well, here I showed how you have it popping out of this quote like this. Another thing you could do, I'm gonna pull this one out and then I'm just gonna pull a box sticker up with a quote. So let's say we do this one. Okay, this one says, babe support babes. So if you have a box sticker, whether it's a colorful box or a quote box like this, and you lay it down, then you could cut this in half and you could lay it on either side, which just makes it look like the paint is coming out from behind that sticker. And then you didn't waste any stickers by putting it underneath. You see how you kind of are able to extend it and it just looks like a bigger splotch and this looks like it sits right on top of it. So I really like that idea as well. Um, another thing you could do with these is you could just put them in your planner. So if we come over here, you could just put it in your planner and then you could just use it, especially if it's the paper ones where you could write on and then you could just write on it. So you could just say like, I don't know, errands. Costco, Target, Kroger, I'm just making this up. Okay, but you could also write straight on the sticker, that, especially if you're using the paper ones. So those are just a few ideas. Here's some more of the clear ones. This book has a lot of these paint swatches because here's some more paper ones. This is the watercolor goals, but these are, and here's some more. Oh, oh my gosh, I really love this one. I'm gonna show you one more. So here, let's say here, you can take this long one, you can put it up here. And then in the last video, we talked about banner stickers. Um, and of course now I can't find the sticker book that had all the banner stickers. Let me grab some from over here. But if you watched yesterday's video, you saw us talk about these banner stickers. So what you could do is you could then take these banner stickers and you could put some like this and then you could letter, you could take a brush marker and write, since this is paper, you can write on it. We 
weekend. Then you have a cute little banner. Okay, so that's another idea as well. So if you use these paint splotch stickers in another way, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. So go drop us a comment if you use them some other way. And if you have another type of sticker you wanna suggest, let me know that as well. And be sure to check out the playlist for the rest of the videos on how to use stickers. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.